All right, hello everybody. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you today how you connect your Zebra ZD410 label printer uh, to your Quantic POS system. So we have to configure it to work uh, with your Wi-Fi network. So for this video, you're gonna need obviously the printer, you're gonna need your iPad for Quantic POS, and you're also gonna need your Wi-Fi uh, username or your SSID and your password, okay? So to start, First, just to make sure that we don't have any wrong settings on the, app, on the actual printer, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll reset it. We'll do a hard reset. So just connect it to power right over here, where as you can see there's a power cable. And then to do a hard reset, we'll have to do two things. One, we'll have to do the reset to the, to the Bluetooth. And second of all, do the reset to the Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. So the first one, we'll press these two buttons together and go ahead and press this thing until we see only this light on and then leave it. We'll let it cycle, it might take it, you know, a minute or so. Good, looks like you made it. Let's give it another second. All right, next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be turning off the printer again. Right over here. I'm gonna be just taking the power out of it for a few seconds. And I'm gonna be put the power back. This time, I'm gonna be pressing both of these buttons here on the side, so the left and the right, and the power button together. And we're just gonna wait for it. We're gonna to have to wait until we see a red light over here because we just made the reset and we cleared the settings that were in there, okay? All right, now, as you can see, we have the printer. The printer is right now on and it's not connected to any network, okay? Our next step would be to connect it to the Bluetooth to the iPad, okay? So what you're gonna do this time is on your iPad, you'll have to navigate to the settings and then inside the settings, as you can see on my screen, you'll go into the Bluetooth settings, okay? And then we're gonna have to pair the ZD410 with, um, with the iPad, okay? Okay, to do that, we'll go ahead and we'll press this button here for a few seconds until we see that it's starting to uh, blink, exactly. And on the iPad, as you can see, it already shows up. If it does not show up on the iPad over here, just turn off your Bluetooth and then put it back on. When you'll put it back on, you're supposed to see it. Here it is, and we'll press on it. Perfect, now as you can see, it is connected, okay? So on the iPad, we'll navigate, we'll go out, and you will have to download this application called Printer Setup. Okay, so to do that, you'll have to go into your uh, app store and you'll have to find the Zebra printer. It is this application over here, okay? You'll download this app and you'll open it. It does have a different layout as you can see, okay? When you see this printer, the first thing you wanna do is you want to discover the printer, so you'll swipe from the left to the right side. And under the Discover Printers, I always like to cycle it, even though you might show it on the first time. We'll go ahead and press on it. It is connecting to printer, as you can see. It is connected. The next thing that we have to do is we have to send the printer the Wi-Fi settings of our network because there is no ethernet cable. So we'll click on connectivity settings. We'll click on wireless. In here, this is where it gets very important. So we'll go ahead and we'll press on, press on next. Next here as well. In the ESSID, 
This is where you put your Wi-Fi network name, okay? In the security mode, most routers use today WPA PSK. And you'll press on next. Here you'll put your Wi-Fi password, okay? And of course, you wanna make sure that the iPad and the printer are connected to the same network, okay? Press on apply. And you'll press on restart the printer. Right now what's gonna happen is on the printer, as you can see in a few seconds is, the printer is gonna reboot. It's rebooting now. It might take it about one to two minutes to reboot. And we'll have to wait until this slide here shows green and this slide here shows green. That's it, right now it's connected. So we'll go out and go right now into the Quantic POS application. In the Quantic POS on the top left corner, press on the three lines. Go ahead and press on hardware, press on printers. In the printers, you're gonna press on scan printers. Click on the Zebra printer, leave it on Wi-Fi and let's wait for it to catch up and here it is. We'll press on add. In the name, we'll just type in, you know, the name that we wanted to give it so we can put label printer. In the group, make sure you select your group. Printer type, make sure you select label. Printer brand, make sure you select the zebra printer. Press on save. Then we'll press on the label printer now again because we have to change some settings. So we'll press on the label with UPC and the label printing. Okay. That's basically it. We'll go out of this thing. And to test it, all we gotta do is go to the service areas, click on either create a new order or just press on an open order. Press on the item for two seconds, the one that you want to print. So again, just put your finger on it for like two seconds, press on print label, and as you can see, it's gonna print. So the more times you press, that's the amount of time it's gonna print. So if you need to do five times, you'll press five times in a row. And that's it, we're all good to go.